guys, welcome back to part two of my nail space tour. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you what I have in my drawers. Um, obviously, you're gonna see a couple of different things. Since I filmed my uh, room tour, I have changed a few things. Just a couple things, nothing major. Um, obviously, that three drawer unit has been moved over to that wall. And um, I've added the two shelves that were here um, over there to make that look more cohesive. When I was editing the room tour, I was like, hmm, that looks like such a weird gap. <laughs> so I moved the shelves over there and now I have my monomer here um, and my acrylics uh, with the rest of my acrylics. And obviously those two shelves are still um, empty because I have received the package, but I'm waiting for more packages. Okay, she can't tell right there those are the packages coming in i have uh, a bunch of stuff coming in today and so i want to film a huge amazon haul along with other um um uh, sorry <laughs> other uh people that i purchased from or other companies that i've uh, purchased from and i will do a separate video on that but for today today we are doing a what's in my drawers and as you can tell there is a lot to go through so i'm hoping this is not going to be a lengthy video um so i'm starting it uh right now but i might not be able to go through the entire thing um all in one sitting if that makes sense so anyhow so let's go ahead and get started and i think i'm going to start in the corner as always <laughs> this uh three cubicle uh shell um that i told you i got from dollar general on my last video if you haven't seen that i'll link it down below um, but this is just for storage for things that don't fit with the rest of my inventory or I have excessive of that I put there or that I know I'm not using right now but will use later it goes in here and so on my first cubicle I have my um, backups of stuff so I have my um, these are my labels my refills labels for my new brother label maker I have my ever first little tiny UV lamp for uh, quick curing um, and that's in here along with the power cord the two um, this is a dust collector and this is a dust collector and what's under here it's just a white box and that's for my rechargeable e-file and then this container here just houses the power cords to this dust collector and these two are um, power cords for this dust collector and what else does it power i'm trying to remember what else this is for mm. One, two. oh my e-file <laughs> my e-file it's just on my desk right now so um this was my ever first dust collector you guys and it's so adorable but i'm not sure if you can tell the little buttons on the side there this is touch and so every time I would file um, this is the way I would be facing it and my arm would always hit this and would turn it off and on turn it off and on as I worked this is where the wires were and it was always in the way because of the way um, I had to plug it it always had to sit in this direction so um, after I mean I it's a backup so if ever my other dust collectors fail uh, this is in here for that and let me and like I said, that box is just for my electric, uh, my rechargeable e-phone. Goodness. Um, I'll have to figure out a way to store this a little bit better. But this dust collector replaced this one that I just showed you, um, which I purchased from Nilit, like Lucy. And she um, kind of personalized it for you. So I put Lizzie's nails on there. And it's that typical dust collector that you can even find on... Um, Amazon and it's such a good dust collector but now that I have my built-in dust collector this has also become a backup I would never get rid of this because obviously it's personalized um, if I get rid of anything it'll be the the first pink dust collector I've ever purchased um, and that's the one I would rather get rid of than this one sorry guys you know when you're going through your stuff and you try to put everything back it never ends up being the same so <laughs> these are backups and this one doesn't have very much it just has my nail book which is where I store 
all of the nails that I've ever done. Um, but I have to find a better um, solution for it because it just doesn't fit. So it's in here for now. <laughs> and then the last one is just all like organizing stuff, just extra stuff of nail bit uh, holders, um, containers and things like that, candle warmer, extra stamping, organizing books and albums and just little small containers and stuff that I know I'm going to need later as my inventory grows. I have it here to um, within reach. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then on this one, on this one, I think I had already mentioned what I have in there, but I didn't really get to show it. But it's storage as well. <laughs> and it houses the majority of my cleaning products and things that I use to remove and clean. Excuse me. The first drawer has my nail foil removers, my manicure bowls, my clips to remove gel uh, polish. Um, and then I have my extra brushes and things like that to clean my implements or myself with. Um, this just a little piece of plastic there, but that's all that's in here. I just house that things to remove and clean with. <clears throat> and then this drawer, I have my sterilizing pouches, which I never really get to use because I don't have a sterilizer. <laughs> and then I have my measuring cup that I use for my barbicide the brush that I'm currently using to clean my implements and then some towels. Now guys, don't come for me on this next drawer. <laughs> okay. It's a bunch of stuff. But once again, as I stated on my previous video, I purchase all these things out of my money, out of my allowance that I give myself every paycheck. So it's mine. I don't give it to anyone. I don't share it with anyone. And I certainly don't bring anyone to my home to use it on. So once again, this is all for me and my practice hands until further notice. But this one houses all of my cleaning products, all of my monomers, my um, alcohol, my nail polish remover, my nail brush cleaners, my extra hand sanitizer bottle, uh, my, you know, cleaning products and things like that that I use. All of these kind of here are monomers and brush cleaners. Um, some alcohol, I'm sorry, Clorox wipes. What else? Um, that's my Mia Secret, my Not Polish, my STG, my Nail It Like Lucy, um, Nail It Like Lucy here, my Zulay's Smooth Set Monomer Backup, my Tammy Taylor Backup. Uh, what else? Oh, my dishwashing for when I clean my implements, my acetone, my alcohol. Um, and then some extra cleansers that um, I use during, um, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, is it going in? Yeah. Um, so I know it's a lot, guys, but I do get to use it eventually. That's my barbicide back there. Um, and yeah, that's where all of my liquids and all my cleaning products and things like that go in. Now, um... <clears throat> Excuse me a moment. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm still dealing with the whole allergy thing, so I apologize. Um, the next one we're going to go through is this unit here. Once again, if you have not seen my room tour to know where I got these units from, I will link the video down below. In the meantime, we're just going to try and very quickly go through them, but also at a steady enough pace for you to see what I have and where I got it from and what they are. So, um... We're going to start with, obviously, the first, um, and I'm going to see how I'm going to do this because I'm, you know, holding the phone with one hand and I only have one hand free to show you. Um, but the first drawer actually houses all my stamping materials, um, which is my two stamping station from Manology. I have some scotch tape here. I have a stamper here. I have this container with um, the majority of my stampers, some of my scrapers, and my cotton grabber. Um, and then this one also has the majority of my stampers that I bought through Amazon. And then this is just a little container with my scrapers. 
my um, oh my gosh my lint ruler my scotch tape dispenser and my cotton rounds for when I'm doing uh, stamping so that's all that this uh, first drawer houses and then in this drawer I have all of my stamping plates and my brother uh, printer label printer so I'm sure if you guys have watched my videos um, enough you'd know the majority of the stuff that's in here these are, are brand new uh, right now I haven't used these uh, these are the the large stamping plates that I'm dying to use because there's some designs in here that um, are like comic book um, and French tips uh, but that'll come later um, so these are the largest I only have four right now so that one houses my large ones and then these are all of my maniology uh, many times me and all the ones that are the same size that I bought from Amazon are in the back of this don't know how I'm gonna show you guys this <clears throat> so the front of this has all of my maniology plates and then towards the back um, which starts there those are all like my Amazon which are either finger angels beauty or some random plate that I may have gotten um, on Amazon and the um, the ones that with uh, oh they're not in here yet I have to put them back in here so that's the majority of my stamping plates that go here but only my many times me and whatever I, I got on Amazon excuse me it's always hard to put it back the way you had it And then you guys have already seen these. These are my, my beauty um, round or square stamping plates. And um, these are just other Maniology stamping plates that are not part of the uh, Many Times Me. These are just additional stamping plates that I decided to get, which I haven't even gotten to use all of them, you guys. So I'm dying to get on a stamping uh, <laughs> binge uh, pretty soon. So. And I did want to make um, a video just on stamping and the things that I have learned so far. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. Um, I mean, I, I might do it either way. Um, but if you are interested, just uh, comment down below. So all of my stamping plates are in this drawer. And I'm sorry for the view, you guys. Um, stamping plates and my uh, label maker. And on this one, you guys, I have everything that is for creating um so i have my old label maker i have uh press on nails with the sticky things at the bottom and then um press ons for my daughters my kids i'm waiting on another one uh, since i have two girls i have my mica powders my crayola crayons to grind i have my sisters my um, measuring spoons and these little mixers all that I've got on Amazon and this is what I use to do my clips. my oh my gosh my goodness I can't remember <laughs> it's a grinder I know it's a grinder but it's for like um, uh, like spices my spice grinder um, I got this also on Amazon. It grinds pretty good, but it doesn't combine the pigments with the acrylic as much as I would like. So that's why I bought my Martyr uh, 4. So you'll be seeing a video on that as well. But I mean, it works. It just doesn't combine the pigments like I wish it did. Now, this drawer is everything for my practice hands. So I have uh, in here some extra Gorilla Glue my ready guana uh, for the half hand tips that's the one that I glued to my ever first expensive um, <laughs> silicone hand which that's a long story if you haven't been watching go back and watch my videos and see why I laughed about that um, these are the extra base tips for my ever first practice hand which I love this brand and I 
I have a story on that as well. That's on my past Amazon. So you you guys can go back and just watch my other videos and understand uh, where these things are from. But the majority of the stuff that I buy here, it's Amazon. So um, you, you'll see that. Now these are the tips, the base tips that I absolutely hate. But I kept them because I will be using those for my short sets. Um, since those will not maintain a glued tip on them these do these are from the maker of the hand i decided to purchase their base tips because they work perfectly the glue um the tips stayed glued to them and then this is just uh, what i use on my practice hand to clean and repair it excuse me um the tips these are all the tips that i use for all of my practice hands See, I'm sure you guys have seen this in my video. My sticky tabs. And these are spare <laughs> nails that I've created that I uh, would like to display on my book. But I I just want to change that book out so much that I don't want to continue adding to it. So, so that's, that's where I have them for now. And then these are the rings for my silicone practice hands. Now guys, this is where the majority of my inventory begins, so please, this is a judge-free zone. Please do not come at me. In fact, get, give me one second and I'll get to the next drawer. Alright, you guys, sorry about that. Um, I decided to free up my hands. Um, and excuse me, I'm just having a little pain, so I have my glove on. Um, because I, I think with two hands are better. Um, so I mounted my phone holder. And I'm going to try my best to utilize that uh, to finish uh, what's in my drawers here. I believe we've already gone through this drawer. Um, and this is the last one out of the top unit. Um, and once again, guys, I'm not judging. I know. I know. This is a lot of tips for one individual. But I do um, have a, quite a few practice hands that I practice with. And I like to do videos and designs. So that's the majority of this stuff. Everything you see here, aside from this and these things here, I bought from Nail It Like Lucy. These are her nail forms that I talked about. These are her extra, extra C-curve tips. Her 3X C-curve tips. Um, I hope I have labels on these, I'm sorry. The extra long C-curve tapered. And then just the C-curve tapered and I love that shape the tapered shape so I buy a lot of those and then this one I believe is tapered as well but I can't tell I think this is a non C curve yeah it's a non C curve tapered uh, square tapered tip so I bought that from her and then these are the extender ones. Um, she sells this container. In case you are interested, I will link her store down below uh, where you can put these extendo nails. And this is where I put all the extra, all the extra ones. Um, obviously, it doesn't come labeled, so I have to label all of these. Um, but it's it's reversible. So I bought the container off her, and I also bought um, some of the tips from her. And some of the tips came from Amazon. And then these is the Beetle uh, full cover tips, which I will be doing a video on. If you guys, um, this is actually a foil box that I refurbished and reused for tips. So that's what these are. Um, I have an upcoming video on this, so you guys, you shall see that coming hopefully soon. And then this little tray just has extra cuticle oil, my extra bondini, which I also got from Nelly Like Lucy, and extra uh, primers, and um, a gel remover, gel polish remover. And then this drawer has more tips, guys. Again, judge-free zone, judge-free zone. I do a lot of videos, and a lot of the stuff I, um, I've been collecting over the years, so... And to be honest, I um, I don't know all of the shapes, so I've had to try my my best and remember them. Um, 
This one, I know it's a natural C curve and they're extra, extra long. These here are actually my short tips. I have them in clear and in natural. They're the very short, short tips. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, I don't have a lot of lighting in here, so I apologize. So there's the natural and the clear for short tips. And these are my extra, extra long natural square tips. These are my French square tips. And I believe these are also the French square tips in clear. Excuse me. What are these? Oh, the C-curve in clear. Now these tips, you guys, are the edge tips. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with edge tips. Um, let me see if I could take one out without making a mess. This is an edged tip. I have two of them in here, sorry. Let's see if I can take one out. That is an edged tip, and I love, I love these tips. They're sometimes a little hard to work with, you know, to pick up stuff, but that is an edged tip, and this is extra long. I got these on Amazon, guys. And if you want links, um, I can try my best to go as far back and see if I still have the links. Otherwise, if you don't see the link, you could just look up edge tips and you'll find them. And then these <clears throat> are more of the natural square, I believe. They're just shorter. And these are my curved tips. And this is just the clear natural um, tips, square tips. And then these are my Zule's coffin extra 2x long coffin curve tips. Love, love, love this shape. It almost, it almost, not quite, but it almost, when you're attaching it to your free edge, almost has that that um, C curve support. That um, not C curve support. It almost sits like uh, on the free edge as a C curve, but it is not. Um, it just gives you that natural curve for your apex there you go for your apex uh, i really love these tips i will link her store down below as well let me just see if i can show you one i'm not sure if you can see that i'm not sure if you can see that natural apex on that tip and it almost hugs it almost hugs your free edge. See that? It's almost like a natural apex built into the nail. <laughs> I could be wrong, you guys. If you have these tips, you can uh, give your uh, opinion down below. But that's that's why I love these tips. And these are just more tapered, extra, extra long uh, tips. Now, I may have to bring you further down. Let me see if I could do this. There we go. I believe this is the draw we want just on. Yes, guys, more tips, okay? <laughs> but this is not just all tips in here, thankfully. These are just, um, let's see if I can get it out. The extra extendos. This is the pack that I got through Amazon that I did not know brought this many, but it did. And this is where I house them. And so I use these and whatever's extra I put in that other bin. Um, and that's what's in here. My swatching sticks. <laughs> My rings, you guys have seen this. This is where I normally put it. I have to put this new pack in here. Um, these are full cover tips for my practice hand. Um, and these are just extra nails that I don't have in those um, nail boxes. Here's the Zoulet one. I just can't fit any more in the box. So they sit in here. And then back here, I have my not polish tips. I 
I have my long coffin tip, non-seeker, and I have my universal tips. Now, I've been meaning to change this container because it just won't stay closed. Um, and that's for both of them. I don't know why they don't want to stay closed. But um, I'm going to look on Amazon for more of those other bins that you've seen. Um, these bins right here. These. Um, and hopefully that'll fit all the tips. So anyway, that's what I have in this drawer. So you guys, basically this unit is where I house most of my inventory. And then this one, I have all my buffers, my files, um, for when I do my manicures on my feet and my hands, my sanding bands, all different grades. Um, let me see if I do this instead. There we go. Um, this came in a bundle. That I bought from Nail It Like Lucy, and I I would prefer all my files to come like this, but not all of them are sold this way. Um, so these are just extras in here. And then you guys have seen me organize this. So whenever I'm done with the one that's in my drawer at my desk, I'll just come and grab another one and put that one in there and put the empty one in here so that I can see how I'm doing in my inventory. Same thing with the buffers. I'm trying to get through these so that I could do the peel and stick ver versions of them and just stick to these from now on. I got these on Amazon. It comes with the metal file. There we go. Now I'll have to change where I have my phone, so give me just one. Sorry, right, guys. So I had to <laughs> come down on my knees to show you the last two because my phone holder just won't come down as far as I can get it and I just wanted to give you a, a decent view of the last two drawers nothing exciting um, <clears throat> this one is housing the obvious these are my cotton rounds for my stamping these are those I forget what they're called but they go wrapped around your fingers so that you can uh, safely you know work on other hands or um, and not ruin your your set that's what these things are and these are my lint-free wipes. My wipes from Nail It Like Lucy. Love the containers. Um, and then my little towels that I use to uh, do my to clean out my brushes uh, when I'm doing a set. And this one just houses the bigger uh, towels <laughs> that I have yet to use. Um, I just cut these are actually larger than that. I cut them all in half and just put them back in the bag. Uh, when I'm ready to use them. Um, these are Q-tips and just a little container with random Nellie Lucy stuff in there. But these I cut in four and this is what I use when I'm doing nails. Eventually I will use these. So guys, I'm going to get myself up and move on to the next unit. Alright you guys, so this is the next unit that I have to go through. It's my most exciting one, I have to say out of all of them because this is where I have the rest of my acrylic that are not on my wall or out on display and it's where I have my embellishments, my crystals, my Swarovskis, my stickers, my glitter, everything is in here and so I'm going to take a seat on my chair and I'm going to go through each drawer. I'm going to try to give you uh, the best view possible. Um, if not, then I'll just mount my um, phone holder here and we'll see how we can work uh, with that in fact I think that's what I'm gonna do as I tried I tried mounting my um, phone holder here but it's just not giving you a, a full view so I'm gonna try my best to do this standing up um, <clears throat> to give you in fact let me just take the chair out of the way so that I can stand here and show you my drawers you guys already know what's in there and that little light my husband got at Lowell's that used to be my first uh, light that I had with my mirror here the one that I showed and hey um, <laughs> um, in my vanity uh, that used to be the first light uh, that I had on my small vanity along with that mirror and it still works and it's still giving me a cute look here so I decided to turn it on for you guys today 
And um, so moving on, let's go to the first drawer, which is one of my favorite drawers. This drawer, you guys, houses all of my acrylics that do not currently fit on my wall. And you guys already know these acrylics. These are my Zule's, all of these right here, along with these three here. These are all my Zule's. And guys, don't be surprised if I come back and I show you more a little later down the road. <laughs> Anyhow. And then these are my modeled ones. This is my STG clear and pink. I still haven't tried it. These are samples. They gave me two samples. And I just combined them in this one and put their label on it. It's supposed to be like a pink um, shade, but I haven't tried it yet. I have, to, I have to try it. And then this is just an extra of Mia Secret 3D White that I'm trying to get through and this is just a mix that I did glitter mix my first ever glitter mix that I did not do so great and trying to fix so that's there and then these are all my nail it like Lucy um, acrylics I have the crystal clear a satin clear back there and the cover cool pink and another crystal clear and then I have the cover rose along with the optic white. These are five ounces. And then these here are my STG that I finally got that sale on. This is the pink and that is the clear. And then I, I have my larger, um, excuse me, I heard my bell, hold on. Sorry guys, <sighs> that was a uh, delivery man. <sighs> I told you guys I was waiting for packages and they are arriving. And now I'm out of breath for running up and down the stairs. <laughs> but I was in the middle of showing you my bigger containers of acrylics. These are my cover colors from Mia Secret. I have the cover pink, which this is the one I refill my smaller uh, containers like these. That I have them all up here. <clears throat> so these are the larger containers for that to refill. Um, cover peach. And my, my most favorite, which is the Covered Nude Blush back there. Excuse me, guys. Whew. That was some exercise, but yeah. My first drawer houses the acrylics that do not currently fit on my wall. And these used to be in there as well, but I took them out since I added these two. Um, just to make everything cohesive. That will get filled up pretty soon. Oh my gosh, now I have to sit down, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I really need to get myself together. Anyhow, second drawer. This is where I have all my polishes. So you guys, <clears throat> let's see if I can get it open, it's so heavy. So, these are all acrylic containers that I bought off of Amazon, as you can guess. And these containers actually, let me see if I can take it out to show it to you, come in a pack of four. And this is actually for makeup, but I thought I'd use it for my nail inventory. <laughs> so this right now is housing my polishes. Not all of them, but most of them. But anyway, those, I have four of them. And so let's start on this side. Oh, on this side, um, I have a <clears throat> polish rack um, that normally sits on top of a counter uh, or a table. But I have it inside my drawer because they fit perfectly with this unit. Um, and it's a four tier um, rack. And I in the back, I have all my OPIs. Um, regular polishes which I love and I don't want, ever want to give up so I still have them my eye gel beauty that you guys have seen me unbox they're uh, matching gel polish to each one and then top coat base coat I have some Madame Glam back there I'm not sure if I can show you Madame Glam some gel polish I only have two and then these is for dipping just didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I put them in here, and they don't fit in these um, ones, so I put them in here. Um, this is just an armor, a magic armor gel polish, 
and then my black and white beetles um, gel polish so that's what's in that rack there and back there as you can see is a top coat regular top coat for regular polishes and my base and top coat for my gel potted um, gel gel polish <laughs> then the little a lamp for the beetles that I will be trying and then here <clears throat> excuse me I have all my modeled ones I have bought a up to here it's all my modeled ones that I use for nail art and these are the smaller uh, elite 99 gel polish that I also use for nail art and my beetles that I also use for nail art you guys have seen me um, haul those before and then this one here houses my McCart liners nail liners I don't know how I feel about these guys because it's like super thick and I'll show you uh, as soon as I have both hands available I'll show you but um, I don't know how I feel because they're super super thick I mean I don't mind some thickness but they're super super thick let me see if I could put my phone down and open one I'm gonna try my best to do this without making a mess but I did get to open one but see see what I'm talking about I mean I don't mind thick but that is too too thick too too thick for me um, and I can't return them because I don't know if on uh, you know on Amazon when when you buy these types of items they're non returnable at least these weren't when I tried to return them um, and that's why I bought um, this the you nail know, polish dinner so I can see if I can thin it out just a little bit so I can use them because I did purchase them to use them and it comes with six of them and then these here are my marble inks from Zulay's and I have it in blue and I believe this is black or it's gray <laughs> can't remember and this is like almost a burgundy red and let me show you a swatch that I did let me see if I can find it and that's how they swatch you guys the burgundy black or gray and the blue So those are the marble inks from Zulay's. And then these six here, those are these are my McCart gel jelly polishes. And then these are my cat eye uh, polishes from Born Pretty in different colors. But I have don't know how to use them, but I did watch um Blue Rose Nails um recently, her most recent video about the cat eye polishes that she purchased and she demonstrated how to use it so I'm gonna try and follow her video for those and then this is just the latex for when I'm doing my stamping and the little tweezer that comes with it and then right here I have all my stamping polishes and of course the thinner as well because I just don't have any other place to put it actually I could put it back there but anyhow these are my beauty stamping polishes and they fit perfectly here um and then these are my queen stamping polishes you guys have seen me haul this before so they're in this uh first and second shelf and then the rest as you can tell is all maniology all my maniology polish oops oh my gosh <laughs> that scared me that made me jump sorry you guys <laughs> um but I have all my solid colors up here and then all the ones with like um, glitter or like special um, things in them are in there and then my black and white is here and then my sticky base here and the three top uh, smudge free top coats I just have three different versions I have the smudge free top coat the smudge free twinkle top coat and the smudge free mermaid top coat they're so pretty you guys look at that one and then yeah the there so that is this drawer houses all my gel polishes my regular polishes and my stamping polishes and obviously room for growth uh, and the and i have ordered another one of these to eventually take this one out and use that with my makeup 
because uh, I am in a subscription with Maniology and I know that they're not going to fit here anymore. So I'm going to be moving these and these into that other rack and have it here. And then this one will be freed for Maniology. So on to the next one. This one houses all of my bling, my embellishments, my charms. Everything you use to decorate a nail with is in here. These are my blanket boxes. This one I got through Amazon. It's the only neon um, um, crystals that I own. These, this one you guys seen me um, haul before from Nail It Like Lucy. This is the one that I want to practice doing um, placements with. And you guys have seen me organize this big one right here. I got this at Michael's. I have different embellishments there. I have removed some and placed them in a different area and added other ones. But all of these, you guys, Amazon. Except for some of the butterflies were from Nail It Like Lucy. But the rest are Amazon. Okay. <coughs> And then you guys, this here, obviously, as you can tell, it's a container with my um, bling remover. Yes, I got this through Nail It Like Lucy. And these came with this here, which are my charms. Um, I guess you use that as a tool to like close the ring or bend the ring. And then in the back of it or at the bottom of it, I have extra tweezers and spatulas that came with other things I purchased through Amazon. But that's that and then this you guys are my charms let me see if I can show you I just uh, this container I got through Michaels these are the ones that come with those stackable stuff I thought that this were this was best used for that um, these are the different size rings for the charms this is the little drill to put the hole in the nail uh, I believe this is called lobster hooks in case you know you want a different kind of hook and my charms which um this is a foil <laughs> box and which I refurbished to put all of my charms and I got this through Amazon so whenever I decide to put a charm I just bring this out and this is just a little basket with Again, the flowers that I was planning to use for 3D and haven't thought of what to do with them in my daughter's room, but that's what they're for now. <laughs> this little container has those little rubber thingies from my 3D nail art brushes. Some trays, um, some refills, wax refills, um, and then my wax pen for my blink. And then these little containers <clears throat> I got through Amazon and I recently and I, I wish I had recorded it um, but it was I mean it took me a while um, I used to have the majority of this stuff in these smaller containers that's why I didn't record it because it was gonna take too long and I have literally 10 of these and taking them out of those containers and putting them all in here just to make it easier for me to look through and decorate the nails i have not been able to use them because they were in these containers and i had too many to look through so i decided to put them in these and once again i got these containers in michael's and i love these because if you notice on the lid it has that little what i'm going to call dent where the where the separators tuck into so that if you do this it doesn't come out of place it doesn't mix in and that's why I love these containers. But this is where I have my, all of my embellishments for putting on a nail. Things that I've either bought through Amazon or through a nail like Lucy or through Lays. All embellishments that you can encapsulate. And these over here, you guys, these over here specifically, um, came with a little tool that you can actually carve them so they can lay much much better curved on your nail um, that's that and then these are just one 
gold embellishments and I believe these were the ones that I saw I had duplicates of and um, gave to the 100 subscriber winner. There we go. Let me just put these back. I have them uh, separated by color, these embellishments. And these are just, remember when, I'm not sure if these are still popular or not, um, but I haven't gotten to try them. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. We'll, we'll see. And I'm dying to do some fruity nails. I've seen Momo's Nails Creation do them. Oh my gosh, they turned out so beautiful. Momo, never doubt your talent, girl. Um, uh, I just might steal your idea. I know you wanted to do the ombre, so I might do, steal that idea for the summer. And that's if I get around to doing the nails because I do have the Barbie and the orange look that I wanted to do. And plus I have to try the gel um, extension tips from Beatles. And then these are just more uh, crystals. These I bought from Nail It Like Lucy. Very pretty, right? Four different types of um, uh, stones, crystals. These are also from Nail It Like Lucy. They're just different um, shapes, different sizes, and different colors, and the gummy bears there. And then these I got through Amazon. These are just smaller versions of the gummy bears in different colors and some with glitter. And these are both, well, actually three. So <clears throat> these row back here, uh, except for this one. This row and this is all Zule's. This is Nail It Like Lucy, Nail It Like Lucy, and Amazon. <laughs> Beautiful, right? And these are the ones that I'm going to use for my Barbie nails, you guys. I'm going to try to do a cluster. And then these are my flowers, and then my rose gold embellishments. And then these, you guys, are, believe it or not, are the tiny, um, let me see if I can give you a close-up. Um, the signs like I'm an Aquarius and so the, these are stickers smaller versions of the stickers they're smaller versions of let me see hold on of these because I, I I can try and do a large nail and maybe I'll just you just do it on my practice hand but I can't wear these on my nails they'll just go on my practice hands and I don't know who I'm gonna use them on because I'm an Aquarius and my daughters can't get their nails done this long and neither can my husband <laughs> maybe i'll just do like um, um appreciation of their birthday you know on myself so we'll see those are just smaller versions of them okay and i got those on amazon just putting them back to the order I had them in. <clears throat> and then these you guys already see these these are my, my pearls the smaller one is from Amazon the big one is from Zule's and then that is the little that little star right there that is the uh, little piece that you use to bend the little charm to get it to uh, lay flatter on the nail or curved on the nail and then these are just um, gold caviar beads and I have no idea what that is but it came in a set so it's there <laughs> and then these beautiful things are my Swarovski crystals and I don't want to make a mess of <sighs> this over these are my different mixed that came in a pack already mixed different sizes different colors and then the only ones that are shaped um, that I was able to actually find on Amazon are here at the bottom. And I only pull this out for myself on a special occasion. And then these are the ones with solid colors. So those are my pickles. <clears throat> now for the last drawer, I'm going to have to position myself on the floor. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to position myself on the floor and be back. All right, you guys. So the last drawer. 
and this is a harder drawer to open because I built this myself and I bent one of the little things that the thing rolls out of so bear with me one second and that's because I couldn't wait for my husband to build it so I built it myself and there we go and as you can tell this is my glitter drawer <laughs> This is everything chrome, pigment, glitter, um, and crystals. Pixie crystals. So, oh, and stickers and decals. So I got this idea, and I, I'm sure you guys have heard me say this before. I watch a lot of um, nail space tours and organ organizational videos. And so I took a few ideas from some other content creators, like these this idea here, I got it from Lizette Cruz. I will link her video down below. Great organization style. I love it. So I took that idea from her. <laughs> this is how I have my glitter organized. And now these are, are organized this way because I recently, um, ha I had larger containers of these in, the, in those colors. And this one I kept that that way because it's just for sugaring. Um, but they just couldn't fit right here, so I depotted them into these, and um, and that's why you see so many. Um, but that's what I did. I depotted those and put them here. And these are these containers uh, with those little pots, just organized in a flat version because you can only fit 24 flat. But when you put them like this, you can actually fit. Let me see, three, six. 9, 10, 11, sometimes depending on the size, um, yeah, 11. So times four is 44. You can fit 44 in this container laid out like this. Um, and the reason I did that is because I was trying to purchase the, what do you call them from Ikea? The um, season racks, so where you can lay down your seasons seasonings in the drawer and there was our $15 a pop you guys you can find them on Amazon and that's too expensive for me I would try to go and get it through Ikea but I can't in my area they won't deliver so I would have to take a day and go but in the meantime this is what I have and I don't mind so these are those containers filled with all my glitter and just so that you can see I have um, five in total right now with all my glitter and I have them organized in a way where I can just shift them over and see what I have um, on all of them. So it works out perfectly, them laid down like that, they almost work like wheels. <laughs> but these are all my glitters that either I got through Amazon, through Zoulay's, um, through uh, Nail It Like Lucy, like all this here is Nail It Like Lucy. That's Nail It Like Lucy. This is Amazon. This is my glow in the dark glitter. Um, Amazon, Zoulay's, Nail It Like Lucy. Um, more Amazon, these are seashells back there. Dry flowers, and then the glitter begins there. And then this tray, you guys. Everything but these four and this row. It's the Nail It Like Lucy Glitter Collections. So yeah, obsessed. And then um, they're just organized this way. This is easy for me to navigate this drawer. And then this little tray just houses my pigment, my pixie crystals, or my caviar beads, right? Yeah, they look like caviar beads, but I think the pixie crystals and my extra nail foil glue. Um, I got this at Michael's, an, an extra nail like Lucy. You guys, this glitter is gorgeous. You have got to try. I, I will link her store down below, but you have to check it out. Now, so once again, she's in the middle of rebranding. So I think she's just trying to get rid of what's on the online store before she fully finishes rebranding and adding more. And I think she's changing her website. So I'll link it. And you guys can take a look and see but i will also link her channel so that you can keep up with her updates and then this is from not polish my pixie crystals which i'm dying to encapsulate on myself 
and my chrome powders and my Zule um, glitter that she gave me as a thank you gift. So those are my chrome powders. Just put this back, OCD, OCD, OCD. All right, you guys. I have to organize this a little better. And then that's, this is my sticker album. It has all my stickers and things that I can encapsulate. This is where I put my foil. So let me see if I can open it with one hand. I can. <laughs> you saw, you guys have seen me organize this. These are all my foils. And just some stickers, smaller stickers in the back. And this is, believe it or not, a, a baseball card uh, album for collectors. And I chose to use it to put my foils. And then what's in this corner here are just the, this is just an extra little container that I had using for something there. Um, this is where I put my decals with a little bit of water. And then this here actually goes together. It's where you could do your sugaring in or your pigments in. Um, what is that? Oh, okay. And then, you know what these are for. These are for your chrome powders. I decided to just put them all in there until I finally use each one. And that's that drawer. Let me see if I can close it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Crazy. Now, let me, let me organize for a second. All right, so I just had to put my phone holder back. Um, but you might see a little bit different. Like I said, I removed the shelves over there and so i have to put my monitor somewhere but this is going to change um i brought some stuff to organize this a little bit better but for now they're they're there my brushes are there you can see my acrylic brushes are no longer there you've already seen this and this is i'm trying to figure out what to do with this you guys so but anyway um this is what's in my drawers on my desk but i just want to show you this first and i think you guys have already seen this as well this houses my vacuum. <clears> the <throat> house, excuse me, with my dust collector. And then the, um, sorry, since I'm not sure if you can hear me, but they're the larger acrylic um, powders that I can't even fit in my drawer, they go there. And then I have my Tammy Taylor brush cleaner, my hurry up spray, and my hand sanitizer, which I'm not comfortable having here because of this, that it's going to change. Um, I'm just waiting for the items to all get in. But for now, they're there. And onto my drawers and my beautiful pillow. Uh, and hopefully we can get through this quicker um, since it's only four drawers. And I mean, I think you guys must already know what's in here, which is your... Um, uh, what do you call that your usual items okay so my first drawer it's not as organized as I would like but because of how small they are is the only way I can fit them <laughs> so what I have is a tray in there I'm not sure if you can see it with dividers and I have all of my and let me see if I can lift it out of here this is my little palette. Let me see if I could pick it up. So I could show you. I'm not lefty. So. so it's a tray that I have in there and it may look familiar. It's the same tray that I have my charms in but I've removed the top um, just so that I can have all my items that um, I need when I'm filming or when I'm doing my own nails. Everything you see here, these are all primers. All primers. And in the event. In the event, I have you there. These are my Zule's um, 
trio that I use on myself, which I highly recommend. My blooming gel, gel my builder gel, my bling um, gel, which I got from Nella Like Lucy, and then my Zule's uh, bling adhesive, my Gorilla Glue for my practice pan, my Bondini, which as you can see hardly ever fits in there. <laughs> my Mia Secret, I'm sorry, I'm not even sure if I'm giving you the view of that, I'm sorry. Um, my Mia Secret Nail Glue, my Beatles Nail Art Foil, which I had to try, my Mark Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. My phone decided that the memory was full. And so I had to import everything out of my phone into my computer in order for me to continue filming. So I'm not even sure at what point I left off now because I, I was importing all that time. And to you, it'll be a few seconds. For me, it'll be about maybe 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> but anyhow, these items here, this is a Nail It Like Lucy primer. I'm not sure if I got to tell you guys. Um, and this is the no lift nails primer from my local um beauty supply store this is uh this uh specific <sighs> bottle i bought empty from amazon because i thought that the original bottle wasn't so great so i emptied it in here my not polished triple x bond the in the event that something bad happens <laughs> My Zule's Trio Prep, the Bonade, the Nail Primer, and the Non-Acid No Burn Nail Primer. My Mia Secret Blooming Gel. My Mia Secret Builder Gel. My Bling, um, Bling It, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's for bling. It's for you to do it like clustering. <laughs> Nail it like Lucy. My Zule Bling Adhesive, my Gorilla Glue for nailing the tips to my practice hand, my Bondini, my Mia Secret Nail Glue, my Beetle uh, Foil Glue, my McCart Foil Glue, um, and then this is my McCart. I had to buy new ones because um, I'm obviously running low on, on them so this is my base coat and my top coat and then I also purchased a peel off base to so give it a try my gloss it from not polish my Zule's rubber base this is the one I bought from Amazon which I'm not sure of I haven't tried either one just yet and then this is the McCart base coat this I'm running low on that my matte top coat I'm running low on that um, running low on my no wipe top coat that's why you saw those um, but I'm not sure if these are no wipe so I don't know I was trying to find these again and for whatever reason I can't find them so we'll see um, they are probably need to be wiped but that is what's in this tray and I have them divided as best as I can I might remove these just so they can fit a little better because it just looks ridiculous right here in fact let me take this out just looks like it's gonna fall apart and that looks a little better let me just put this little in case I have want to divide it again it's in here for when I need it but that this is that um, case where I have my charms um, that you put on the nail so and that I have in, in this drawer there and then I have that little white towel that I use for wiping off my acrylic brush and then this is some PVC that was left over for my table and I have my extra um, ready guana primer for the practice hand, some more of that no lift and another one of nail it like Lucy back there. These are extras. Sorry guys. And then I have my um, cuticle oil along with my, goodness, I just can't get you in the drawer, sorry. My goodness. <laughs> These are my cuticle oils, my cleanser and dehydrator, my 
cuticle softener. This is my Monomer Drops. This is the one that I'm currently using, the extra ones in the back for my practice hand. And then this is the glue that I will be using for the full cover tips uh, beetle kit. Um, obviously, isotone, alcohol, and my wipes. So let me just put everything back in here. See if it'll let me. See if I can fit the tray back in without making a mess. And I know this doesn't look so organized, but this is what I use to do a lot of filming and to do my own nails and to practice on my practice hand. This is where I can grab everything. Just putting my little piece back, along with the instructions for that beetle kit. And then on my second drawer, I have, you name it, it's in here. <laughs> I have, I decided to put my acrylic brushes in here because I noticed that there was dust accumulating on them and I didn't like that. So I decided to put them in here. I've already mentioned these uh, from my drawer. Um, I'm currently, the ones I'm currently using now are here. The, uh, I take them out of here. My buffers are there. My, my nail is like Lucy that I'm trying to get through. And my Tammy Taylor peeling stick as well is here trying to get through these but that's where I keep um, my files and buffers and my acrylic brushes and then you know what these things are uh, my bit cleaner <clears throat> my current files that I'm using on myself or my practice hand my Tammy Taylor is in there separate from these and then I, here I have my essentials. I have my uh, cuticle pushers, my um, nippers, my nail clippers, and my pincher. And then I have uh, things to cut with in here, which is my scissors, my that little tool that people use to do the French, and then some my X-Acto knife. And this knife, you guys, let me just show you. Let me see if I can. This knife right here, which I thought was awesome, I bought from Nail It Like Lucy. You could do that sharp uh, French with this. I have yet to try it, but I'm down to do the exact knife with these. I just haven't played around with it long enough, I guess. And then these are my extra scissors, my little ring to put. Some gel polish for nail art. And then, <clears throat> obviously, this is where I keep all of my bits. And you guys, you've seen in my inventory that I have other, you know, bins for them. But I find that this one has the most um, that I can hold. And so this has become my favorite aside from the fact that it's pink um but it houses much much more um bits so um it's become my favorite and then that's just a sticker and the reason it's in there is because i cracked the top and i'm too lazy to buy another one uh because i have other ones in there and if i'm going to replace it i might as well replace it with the ones i have in my drawers so it's there for now because i love the, how many it holds and then obviously I have to refill my sanding bands. And this is where I have my extra brushes to clean my hand or myself with. And then this container, <laughs> it may seem familiar. This is where you get the pack of guns. Um, has my recharger, um, charger for my little vacuum. So, it's in there. And you guys, all these containers, as if you don't already know, I've, I've purchased them from Amazon. So if you're wondering, that's where I got them from. All of these containers have come from Amazon. Try 
trying to get everything back to me. So anyhow, let's see if I can fit this in here <coughs> without dropping it. There we go. And this container, you guys, like I said, has my acrylic brushes. I decided to put them all in here because, like I said, I noticed that there was dust starting to lay on them. Like, you know, when you're, excuse me, when you're um, filing. Um, and it just gets everywhere. So I decided to put them in here. And that might change as well. <laughs> as I said, I've placed quite a few orders. And you guys are going to see a haul and a reorganization coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. third drawer nothing exciting I just have my dental bits and the um, towels I keep talking about where I clean my brushes and last but not least this just have my masks and my gloves and this is excuse me a filter for a different mask that I have um, and the rest of the filters I have stacked away because I have yet to use that mask <clears throat> so that's that and that's it you guys that is what's in my drawers now as I stated let me just put this up here excuse me while I try and figure it out because I finally put my phone stand back and I don't even think I have enough light there we go that's much better um, so I like I said I have a haul which I've gotten everything I'm just waiting for one more thing to come in but I'm not gonna wait for that to film a haul and I'm after this video I'm gonna film a haul for you guys so that's also coming and um, so many videos uh, that I'm trying to get done and filmed so thank you guys for um, tuning in as always being so supportive you guys are so amazing I I have the best supporters um, so I appreciate even though I don't get to have many conversations with each and every one of you but I appreciate you nonetheless so thank you for joining me on my part two of what's in my drawers and my nail space. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. See you next time.